preparing for the procedure. Before performing a lumbar puncture on an infant, it is crucial to gather all the necessary equipment. This includes sterile gloves, a spinal needle, a syringe, a sterile drape, antiseptic solution, local anesthetic, sterile gauze, and adhesive bandages. Positioning the infant. The infant should be placed in a safe and comfortable position for the procedure. The lateral decubitus position is commonly used, where the baby lies on their side with their knees bent towards their chest. Another popular option is with the infant in the upright position. This position allows for better visualization of the landmarks, better infant oxygenation and increases the success rate of the procedure. Cleaning the area. After positioning the infant, clean the lumbar area with an antiseptic solution thoroughly. Two widely used antiseptics in clinical practice are chlorhexidine in alcohol solution and iodine-based solutions, such as povidone iodine. Start from the planned puncture site, apply antiseptic solution in an expanding circular motion using sterile gauze or a dedicated antiseptic applicator. This method allows cleanest to dirtiest progression, pushing potential pathogens outward. Allow the antiseptic solution to dry thoroughly before proceeding as many antiseptics, like chlorhexidine, achieve maximum germicidal effect when allowed to dry. After the solution has dried, sterile drapes are to be placed around the puncture site, allowing a sterile environment to perform the procedure. Local anesthesia. Once the area is clean, a local anesthetic is administered to minimize discomfort during the procedure. Many clinicians fail to use anesthetics, such as lidocaine, but this step actually increases the success rate of the procedure. Landmark for entry point. Identify the superior iliac crests and draw an imaginary line between them. The entry point is typically at or just below the intersection of this line with the midline of the spine, usually between the L3-L4 or L4-L5 interspaces. Palpate and locate the spinous processes of the vertebrae in the lumbar region. Identify the interspace between two adjacent spinous processes where the needle will be inserted. Performing the lumbar puncture. With the landmarks identified, the operator carefully inserts the spinal needle between the vertebrae and into the subarachnoid space. Cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, is then collected into the collection tubes for further analysis. Removing the needle. After collecting the required CSF sample, replace the stylet and carefully withdraw the needle. Apply gentle pressure with a sterile dressing to the puncture site to control bleeding. The area is covered with an adhesive bandage to protect it.